Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. Uh, so today we are doing the coloring scare tag. Uh, I was tagged by Emily Illustrator. Um, the, and the tag was created by uh, Corey over at Colorfully Optimistic and Emma Colors 2020. Um, I will leave all their links down in the description below. Um, and same with the questions and everything, and I'll, I'll leave all that down there too. Uh, so I think I'll just color some on this. We've been working on this for a few streams and I'm trying to finish it. So I'll just work on this for a bit while I'm going through all the questions and everything. Uh, so I think I'll just jump right in and start. So first question is, what would you choose? What weapon would you choose if you were living in The Walking Dead? Uh, definitely a machete. Um, I think, or a, or a samurai sword, one of those two, definitely. Uh, let's see, if you were paid to stay the night in a haunted house, would you and how much would they have to give you? Oh gosh, I probably wouldn't, but if I was to consider it, it'd have to be, um, a lot. Uh, I'm a big chicken, so... I most likely wouldn't, but they would have to um, offer me a whole, whole lot. Uh, let's see, number three is what superstition slash urban legend do you believe? Um, not a whole lot, well not very many, really. Um, if you open your umbrella inside, it's bad luck. I think that counts. Uh, <laughs> which horror movie did you never get over? Oh gosh, um, all of them. Uh, the Grudge, for sure. Um, definitely The Grudge. Scary, just creepy with that sound and whew, yeah. Uh, the Descent 1 and 2 had me screaming for my mama. It's just creepy. Um, one missed call. I don't know if uh, if anyone has seen that, but it's a Japanese horror movie. Ooh, it's really scary. Had me freaked out every time my phone was ringing. Uh, so yeah, pretty much all of them. I'm a big, big, big chicken. <laughs> um, let's see, what is your favorite scary and or Halloween coloring book? Uh, cute and creepy is definitely, I think, my favorite. Um, also really like the 50 Halloween Mandalas by Camellia Angelkova. Uh, but I like Cute and Creepy is probably my favorite. Um, let's see. Question number six. What is the scariest book you've ever read? Uh, I haven't read very many or any horror books. Um, really. Uh, I'm more of a fantasy, I pretty much, well, okay, not really fantasy either. I pretty much just read Harry Potter over and over. Uh, so every once in a while I read something else. But uh, maybe a, a cookbook? Does that count? I love to eat, but uh, I don't like to uh, cook. So maybe a, a cookbook, probably. Um, let's see. If you could be a scary monster, what one would you be? Uh, I don't know. Um, that's a hard one. Uh, cookie Monster? Does that count? I'd probably be a Cookie Monster. Um, where is the scariest place you have ever been? Um, Definitely, I think the bridge over Kauai in Thailand, I think that's what it's called. Uh, we went there on vacation and we went to the bridge over Kauai and we walked out on the bridge and it was so scary because I'm terrified of heights and uh, there was only like these planks that you walk out on. Like there was, it wasn't like a bridge bridge, it was like uh, you balancing on planks and I was like, no thank you. And I think I walked 
a little less than halfway across and then I turned around and walked back which I mean not sure what the point was <laughs> in turning back because I was already halfway there but I was like nope so yeah that was really scary I was not a fan uh, so that's probably the scariest place I've ever been uh, let's see are you scared of the dark and if so what scares you most about it um, I'm not like super scared of the dark um, it depends it depends on the situation but uh, the absence of light I would say um, and you know I don't know what's what's in it like what's in there can't see. I'm not a big fan of not being able to see what's, you know, what's in the room. So probably that, I, I would say. Uh, let's see, what's the next question? I lost my place. I got it uh, <laughs> up on the other screen over here. Uh, do you go to the toilet with the lights on or off after a scary movie? And if you have a closet, would you need to have the door fully closed? I would definitely have to have the door fully closed. Um, and I go to the toilet with the lights on after a scary movie, definitely. Um, I usually make Mary uh, walk me to the door. <laughs> Again, big, big, big chicken. Um... So yeah, definitely on. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Do you prefer to watch scary movies with others or alone? Uh, with others, I have to have somebody to hold my hand. And apparently people find it very entertaining to watch scary movies with me. I, uh, I scream like I'm a... I get scared and I scream and I jump around because it freaks me out <laughs> so definitely with others I don't know if I could ever watch a, a really scary movie all by myself <laughs> uh, let's see that was question number 11 so 12 is do you want to be a vampire a zombie or a werewolf and why um, Definitely a vampire Because uh, I could live forever and think of all the coloring I would get done um, So yeah, definitely definitely vampire uh, Would you participate in the zombie run which is a city event that is like a haunted fun run if so would you be a zombie or a runner I probably would not I think it would freak me out too much but if I was I would probably be a runner um, so yeah probably not but if I was a runner uh, let's see, do you prefer gory, creepy, or cute and spooky? Uh, definitely cute and spooky. I'm not huge on, on gory. Um, although I do like some, you know, gory-ish um, stuff. Like, um, that last Alan Roberts book is really funny. Um, and it's kind of gory-ish, I guess. But it's, it's funny at the same time. It's definitely the cute and cute and spooky uh, let's see what scares you most about being home alone oh gosh uh, <laughs> uh, well for one I'm a big chicken like I'm pretty sure I mentioned that earlier um, I have very I have so many weird stories of, of, of things that have happened when I've been home by myself it's it's weird how things happen something always happens when i'm by myself um yeah basically like in cases where i was i was home by myself mary and mama went to the store and i was home by myself because i didn't want to go um and they didn't you know need me to go so i just stayed home 
and I heard something outside and so I looked out the window because I'm that little old lady that just you know creeps out the window every time she hears a noise I learned that from my grandma <laughs> um, anyway so I was looking out the window you know minding my own business and there was a car parked outside of our driveway and there was a four-wheeler parked next to the car and the dude on the four-wheeler was wearing a ski mask and it freaked me out and I thought they were looking at our house um so yeah that's the kind of stuff that scares me about being home alone another time I was home alone I walked out to the mailbox and I came back and there was a, a snake laying in front of the door like up against the door so I couldn't get past it so I was stuck outside for 45 minutes um, <laughs> Oh, yeah stuff like that um I have, I have many many stories but yeah those two uh let's see would you rather walk through a cornfield or a forest in the dark uh i take the forest i think um i don't know i mean i'm i'm sure people walk through cornfields i don't know why they would i mean children of the corn which is another movie I never got over. Um, but yeah, I would I would definitely take the forest. <clears throat> I, uh, I grew up around uh, woods, so I would take that over the cornfield any day, I think. Let's see here, let's just get this. Like so. Uh, if you could make a magic potion, what would it do and what ingredients would it take to make it? Oh gosh, I don't know. Um... Okay, I would make a magic potion that would make leftovers taste fresh. So, I don't know what I would need for that. Um, probably uh, air freshener, salt and pepper, maybe a little bit of garlic, and... Uh, maybe some hot sauce. Sounds delicious, doesn't it? Um, let's see. What was your favorite Halloween costume of all time? Um, okay. Uh, Halloween isn't really huge where I come from. Um, but, uh, I really liked it with that one time, that one time I dressed up, I was a, a Ray from the Lord of the Rings, and that was really cool, so probably that one. Um, and it was also really cool when Mary dressed up as Mary Poppins, uh, she, um, looked very Mary Poppins, see? Uh, so yeah, probably that. Uh, okay, so last question is, uh, would you, who would you rather have as a friend? Michael Myers, Pennywise, Alien, Predator, or Freddy Krueger, and why? <clears throat> okay, so to be honest, I haven't heard of like half of these people. Um, but definitely I think Predator just because he looks really cool and uh, uh, I've actually seen the Alien vs Predator <laughs> and um, he looks really cool so yeah definitely Predator I know I'm probably gonna get so much crap for not having watched the other ones I think one of them is from The Nightmare of Elm Street maybe possibly Oh gosh, or maybe not. Oh, I don't know. Uh, don't quote me on that. <laughs> but yes, so, uh, definitely, definitely Predator, because he looks cool. Um, <laughs> and that is it. I'm supposed to tag three people, but, um, I am actually not going to. I am just going to say that if you have a channel and you want to do this tag, I think you definitely should. It's so much fun. It, <laughs> apparently you learn a lot about yourself. <laughs> well, kind of. 
Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, if you have a channel and you want to do this tag, it is a lot of fun. So you definitely should. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Toodaloo.